Okay, so they're still at it. Um, the fake news media are gone crazy. Okay, crazy. Now, they've always been crazy, but they're showing now to people how even more crazy they are and delusional they are. How delusional they are by announcing Joe Biden as President of the United States. When did that happen? When exactly was it announced that Joe Biden was President? Did I miss something? To the best of my knowledge, they're still counting votes at the moment in certain states. So if they're still counting votes in certain states, how could Joe Biden be the winner? How could he be president if they're still counting the votes? It doesn't make sense to me. And the fake news media people are gone crazy. I mean crazy. I'm seeing it all over the place. CNN in America, ABC, Fox are even jumping on this bandwagon and they should be ashamed of themselves. Okay, uh, I'm shocked at Fox, to be honest, that they're even, you know, announcing that as well, that Joe Biden's president. Shame on you, Fox. You're backstabbers. That's all you are. Uh, NBC, I believe, are also announcing it. Sky News in the UK are announcing it. That Joe Biden is president. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think even Bloomberg, that news network, is announcing it too. And here in Ireland, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Here in Ireland, you've got the Irish Times, the Irish Independent, the Irish Examiner, the Evening Echo here in Cork, um, all announcing it too, that Joe Biden is president, when he's not. You've got RT also jumping on that bandwagon, announcing he's president, when he's not. You've got Cork's Red FM. Yep, I saw it this morning in a post, in a Facebook post, that failing radio station Cork's Red FM Joe Biden is president you've got the other failing radio station also jumping on the bandwagon now Cork's 96 FM who are also now announcing Joe Biden's president on their Facebook page and you know I read some of the comments on Red FM and on 96 FM Red FM had more comments than 96 FM, but on Red FM's Facebook page, I read their comments and there were so many Trump supporters, it was incredible. It was so good to see that. And they realize that there's voter fraud going on. But unfortunately, there's also very stupid people, fools. Who are actually believing what Red FM are telling them. How foolish can you be? How stupid can you be to believe that nonsense? To believe that fake news? And honestly, I believe when the courts are done with all this, okay? And let, okay, let's assume for a second, okay? Let's play devil's advocate. And we take away all the illegal votes that Joe Biden got. And I know for a fact now, because I heard it this morning, I heard it this morning that Joe Biden received a ton of votes from illegal immigrants. Or as they call them in America, illegal aliens. Illegal immigrants 
who cast their votes for Joe Biden. Illegals. Do you know what that means? Their vote doesn't count. They're illegal. They're not American. Okay? They're not living in the country. They're illegal. Okay? And they cast their votes for Joe Biden. Okay? But your vote doesn't count. And the illegal votes are also people who, how can I put this, who cast their votes. I believe there's a deadline. Who cast their votes well after the deadline, well after election night. They cast their votes well after election day. So their votes shouldn't be counted either. Now, in certain states at the moment, they're still counting votes. But yet the media, ABC, CNN, NBC, Fox, Sky News, here in Ireland, the Irish Times, the Irish Independent, the Irish Examiner, the Evening Echo, Cork's Red FM, Cork's 96 FM, RT, they're all jumping on the bandwagon and saying, Joe Biden's the new president. And do you know why they're doing that? For two reasons. One, because they desperately, you see, all these people, the media, they're all Democrats. It's run by Democrats. Okay? And the majority of the people in these radio stations are Democrats. So, number one, the reason they're doing this is they want to move this as quick as possible. To try and get Joe Biden into the White House. But the media doesn't decide that. Okay? The law decides that. The courts decide that. Not the freaking media. Number two. The second reason why they're doing all this is because the media, simply put, hate Trump. They're anti-Trump. They hate him. And do you know why they hate him? Because he's open. He's honest. He tells the truth. And he exposes the fake news, which he's done several times, for the frauds that they are. And he's exposed them. And the media now know that people, a lot of people out there, are not buying into their bullshit anymore are not buying into their propaganda anymore. And we talk about these failing radio stations like Red FM, 96FM. I'm sure many others are jumping on the bandwagon too, by the way. But we talk about those two particular failing radio stations here in Cork, my city. And we talk about those failing radio stations and... You know, if you look at the talk shows that they have in the morning on Red FM, and by the way, I don't listen to them anymore. I'm done with radio completely. I don't listen to any radio anymore. But I keep up with what's happening, okay, with what they're posting, with the garbage they're posting on their Twitter, Facebook page, whatever. Anyway. If you look at the talk shows they do in the mornings, Red FM, they've got that guy, Neil Prendeville, who's been there for many years. Now, many people would say, Neil Prendeville is a very well-respected Cork man, Dave. Well, not by me. Okay. Then on the other radio station, the other failing radio station, Cork's 96 FM, You've got that other has been um PJ Coogan PJ Coogan yeah that guy you know the guy with the bald head yeah him clown absolute clown okay and we all know he is anti-Trump he hates Trump we all know that 
we all know Neil Prentville hates Trump as well. Okay? Even RT, we all know they hate Trump. Okay? They've hated him for a long time. RT have shown their hatred for Trump plenty of times. By the lies they make up about him. But look, all these radio stations, you know, RT, radio, television, they're all one thing. No, they're two things. They're liars and they're corrupt. Liars, corrupt. Every last freaking one of them from Cork's Red FM, Cork's 96 FM, Classic Hits 4 FM, um, RT Radio, 2 FM, every last one of them. It doesn't matter. Corrupt, 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 corrupt. And that's the way it is. They can't help it. They're corrupt. They're biased. They're fake. They make up stories. And while we're on the subject, very quickly, Cork's Red FM, Cork's 96 FM, they always claim in their talk shows, they get these emails, okay, from listeners. Okay? But did you ever notice that very rare that these listeners actually come on the air to get their point across. It's all done through email, isn't it? Do you not find that odd? I know the reason. I know the reason why these people don't go on the air, a lot of them. Because they don't exist. The emails that are coming from listeners are made up by the production team, by the talk show presenters themselves. It's all made up to cause controversy. That's all it is. All made up. Lies, lies, lies. And did you ever notice when they do bring people on the air, Did you ever notice that, how can I put this? They only ever give up, they only ever give out the first name of the person, like Mary, or Bridie, or Rachel, or Kira, or some name like that. They never give out the surname. Why not? Why don't they give out the surnames? Why don't they? Tell us a bit more about the person. Very suspicious, don't you think? Do you know why? Because it's not a listener. It's a producer. These radio stations have several different producers. And they bring them on, pretending they're listeners, when it's not. Now, independent fact independent fact checkers facebook you can fact check this video all you like and you can claim that what i'm saying is false i don't care but i know it's the truth and the truth will always be the truth okay so you can fact check this all you like and I've seen, by the way, a ton of videos coming out over the last little while now about voter fraud and corruption going on and stuff like that. And evidence, most importantly, it's evidence that there's been voter fraud going on in the US. So what Facebook are doing, and Twitter, by the way, what Twitter and Facebook are, Twitter and Facebook are doing is they're doing their best to block all that. Okay? And they're putting fact check in front of it. But here's the thing. All these radio stations, news networks over in America, who are putting up on their Twitter and Facebook pages that Joe Biden is the new president of the United States. Why are Twitter and Facebook not fact checking that? 
Why did I not fact check it yet? 